Hello everybody, that is here. Welcome to my part two of pure EK configuration testing. Thank you EK for helping out with this. Equipment required to make this happen for this particular video was 450 bucks. So help from EK was really substantial here and it makes this video happen. Otherwise, I would be considering to pick up this out of my pocket. So what we will look today is what better choice is a traditional triple 360 or 140 millimeter wide 420. I asked this question constantly through my store and I had a little bit of difficulty to answer this question. Usually I incline to say 360 is better and simply because the selection of fans for 120 mm radiators much better than 140. Traditionally, we had only generic, pretty weak fans in 140 mm size, but recently things changed for the reason that EK introduced new family of fans called Wardar, and they show very, very good results in radiator testings. Even on my own, you can look my tests and you can see they very on par with traditional favorites. So now we have Wardar in two sizes and means that we have a solid performing fan also in 140 millimeter series. And basically I was totally at loss what really to recommend my customers and this test that I performed this week actually will put some answers here. So what we have, we have two models, one is XE360 recently introduced by EK and another new model is um, CE420, the both triple and they share the same core, so they have medium density fins, it's 17 FPI and uh, they have the same similar construction size kind of surface of radiators somewhat close so now let's look into actual practical examples and see what kind of numbers we get setup stays same as usual you can see some numbers here and uh, so i have a dual sli system running on 2980s and cpu overclocked and we use uh, two speeds of fans so I will continue to use the same spins, although fans is now different, but let's say we just want approximately the same amount of noise coming on system and the spinning fans the same speed gives us approximately the same level of decibels, doesn't matter what size of the fan is. So we'll continue to test 2000 RPM and 11 uh, 100 RPM the same as we did as many previous tests. It also will help us to correlate with our previous results if you'd like to look in different models such as Monster and things like this. So, first test CPU only or with two speeds. I would like to converge this and move it a little bit faster than usual because um, the type of answer I'm actually going to give you. So, doesn't matter what speed of fans we have with uh, Thermally, not stretch system with CPU only cranking some minimal heat into the system and triple is basically a total overkill. It makes absolutely no difference what you choose. If you choose six, uh, 360 or 420, you get identical result, which means that your selection between two radiators will be based strictly on capability of your computer case. If it's better to fit this model, take that, opposite, take that. So no other difference. The cost of both radiators also very comparable. So this is a pure uh, fitting and looks type of situation. Now, if we put system a little bit into the stress, so we have a both GPU cranking um, heat at 100% utilization and CPU. And now we're going to situation when triple is actually recommended setup for three hot components, then situation kind of little bit change and to my surprise what I got for the <clears throat> slow speed fans I got barely one degree advantage on a 420 model well while I'm not running into um, I'm not running my test into temporarily temperature temperature controlled room one degree is I always wish a wash situation but if we look into 2000 rpm situation when we have a fan spinning faster obviously 
more air coming from um, from the bigger fans, but at least they produce the same level of noise, with, which we, we already agreed that we'll use as a criteria here. So actually, bigger radiator, a wider radiator gave us a little bit better performance. I got about um, two degrees difference. So between two numbers, so we have one degree, which is wish washing number, but the second one is a couple degrees. That already, I think, a little bit bigger than. Um, a room of error so to speak in my particular not professional setup i would say that for me answer is simple if you have a thermally unstretched overkill situation the difference is none but if you start pushing system into your limit then actually 420 have a very very small advantage not probably enough to make it break um, type of situation, but nevertheless, it's a little bit better. So that's putting cap on that question. I actually wanted to test 140 versus 120 from the very beginning of Dazzle Up series, and I'm happy that I was able to finish it now. So guys, well, that's the answer here. Again, thanks a cup for helping me out. Thank you for you for watching this episode. Coming back soon with more stuff on Dazzle Up. Have a couple more projects still going on. See you soon.